Hello. So I'm um, doing a little update real quick. Hope it's real quick because I mean to do things real quick sometimes and then the video is like 15 minutes. So I will try not to do that. So I had a reline appointment yesterday and I went in and was like, oh my gosh, please let this go well. <laughs> so I got back there. I only had to wait 30 minutes. My phone was at 10. I got back there like 10, 27. And I um, take these out and hand them over. And where they fixed that break last time, I had noticed it started to, um, you know, crack in that same spot again. Not because I was eating stuff I shouldn't, just because, like, they they fused it together, however they do it, while the liner was still on last time. So it wasn't that efficient of a repair. So there was that. I was so nervous that they were going to get it and be like, hey, you have that break again, so we can't do it. I'd be like, ah! But that's not what happened. But I did hear them conversing in the back. I was facing a window in the little chair I was in, playing on an iPad, and I could hear her discussing my dentures. And I didn't know what she was talking about, but it sounded kind of weird. It sounded like she had some kind of concern. And her concern was, because she brought it back and talked to me about it, but she said um, that in my adjustment period, I mean, I've had, I just counted, 12 and a half. I've had these dentures for 12 and a half weeks. She said that since during my appointments when I had adjustments and whatnot um, and material was drilled down to make it to where I didn't stab in certain areas that I had lost a lot of coverage. Um, if you see um, what are they call permanent dentures, if you see the permanent ones, you'll see that the, the part up here really like goes up and it, it and it extends down also on the lower one mine don't do that because they've been adjusted so many times and sometimes it was me here at home because you guys know I've talked about me drumming little parts that are sticking out so I did some of it but it was also done at the office several times anyway so just both of those happening um, when they did just caused a lot of material to be missing. And so they're not that stable. Even when I glue them down. I mean, my top one's pretty awesome. It always has been for the most part. Um, I use the powder fix to keep them in there. But less than, usually like, I don't know, a little over half the day goes by. And my bottoms, if I chew like uneven or something, I mean, because with dentures, you have to learn how to chew all over again. Um, just the pressure from chewing, <laughs> you know, it's, it would like kind of like and pop them loose. So I'm just kind of used to that. I stay away from certain things I know will do that, or I'm learning how to chew them in certain areas that for the most part avoid that happening, but it's not always hundred percent, you know? So Anyway, she, she had said that, and she was like, we're going to need to remake your dentures. And I was just like, what? I mean, internally, I said, what? And she said, well, we've just adjusted them so much, and you still have a few more months, like three to four months left before we will fit you for your permanent ones. So she said, um, it will all be covered, but we want to remake your dentures for you. And she was talking about the bottom ones initially. But then she came back after had drilling out the uh, soft liner material from a previous appointment and on the top and was like, you know, what? we're going to do your uppers also. And she said, this will actually be really good because these were fitted um, based off of your pre-extraction situation. And that's true. I had gotten the impressions done while I still had all my teeth in. So they were able to kind of like make my teeth. I mean, my teeth never looked this nice, like ever. <laughs> so they just kind of went off of how they should have looked, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, uh, 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 what's it called? So they did the soft liner 
in this, and this crack is becoming uh, more prominent, I guess, because it was just a crack, and I'm not, like, eating crazy things. Like, I'm not, like, you know, on anything. I'm just eating normal stuff. I actually tried to stay with some softer stuff just because I don't want to put that extra stress on there. But on Thursday, a week from today, I'll be going in and doing an impression of my current gum situation, which has healed up exponentially compared to what, you know, these were made for. These were made to accommodate the swelling, the, um, the healing process. So they're very like roomy on the inside and they're just not fitting right anymore. The arch part where the palate is hits the roof of my mouth before this part hits my front gum area. So there's, there's always like some kind of void there. <laughs> I actually fill it up a little bit more with the powder adhesive just to kind of make up that area because it wasn't right. It's a lot better now that I got the soft liner done yesterday than it has been, but I will just be using these for the next week and I'll have new ones, new temporaries because these won't be my permanent. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Um, I wasn't expecting that. I just thought you're stuck with these and you deal with them till you know, you just make adjustments until, um, you get your permanent, which she told me it should be about at the seven month mark. And I'm at like 12 and a half weeks. So maybe summer sometime. So yeah. Um, I also wanted to just say thank you so much for all the comments. You guys are so sweet. Um, on my video that I posted last time, maybe it was about a week ago. And you know, you don't know how things are going to, how people are going to respond to things or anything, but I just kind of, I made that video for my aunt to be able to see me singing because she doesn't get to in person. And up until then, she had only had like, like a couple clips sent to her from when I'd be singing at church. And I just thought that was really cool that when I shared that with people, there was such a good response and, you know... When people get emotional, when people sing and everything, I really believe that, you know, that that's God causing that feeling. It wasn't me. It wasn't my singing. You know, I mean, God gave me an ability and I just very consciously try to use that to glorify him because he's just, he's done so much for me. <laughs> he's saved my life completely. Like in every sense of the word of being saved, he's saved my life and restored so much in my life that I had lost because of what I used to do. So I just want to say thank you. I think that's awesome because it's not me affecting everybody else. It's, it's, it's God touching other people and that's what it's about. So I just want to say thank you. And, um, I think that's so cool. <laughs> so, so yeah, I just wanted to do a little update and um, just say thank you for all the comments and what everyone said and how sweet everybody is. And to also um, just let you know how the appointment went yesterday. I think it was pretty cool. They're just going to straight up make new ones for me to use for the next few months. And I was like, awesome, you know. So, yeah, I... Um, taking a little lunch break, so I better get back to the lunch part and eat something. But I hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.